you since, <laughs> since you went on the field? Uh, honestly, it's been fun. Obviously, you know, changing coordinators and you know, learning new offenses, learning new personalities, getting opportunity to see how stuff is ran, see how everybody does their thing. Um, but you know, just like Tyler said, I mean, it doesn't matter <coughs> you sitting at that table as a, as a play caller. You know, you have to learn it and you have to be a student of the game. Um, but it's, it's been great to, to be able to be around different different guys, like, you know, starting with Coach Elliott and having Coach Streeter and now Coach Riley. So it, it's, it's been good. I wouldn't say it's been, you know, frustrating. Like, oh, man, I wish I would just have one guy. I mean, there's some things just out of your control. And I, don't, I don't sit around and worry about that stuff. You know, whoever Coach Winnie decides that he won't be at the helm of that, you know, you trust that process and, and then you put your arm around that guy and you, you follow his lead. You know, he set the tempo for our, for our offensive staff. You follow his lead and you try to go out there and make sure that he, he looks great. Make sure that our guys are ready to go out there and play. And so my, my responsibility is to make sure that the running backs know what they're doing and they go out there and they execute at a high level. Um, but it's, it's, it's been been great learning you know, from, from each and every one of those those guys that I've had so far. I guess what is the vibe life like on his staff? I think What's the vibe like? Because you got a 42-year-old Kyle Richardson, I think is the oldest person on the staff, and everybody else is pretty much the same oh, age. You just come to what I mean, man. We be vibing <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we lose. You know, it's a lot of energy. Uh, but at the same time, we know when it's time to work, it's time to work, right? Uh, but you know, it's, it's a lot of energy on our staff. We all get along with each other. You know, we hang out. You know, we, you know, we know how to cut, you know, cut up. You know? Always, you don't always want to be serious all the time, you know. Um, so we do. I think we got a great mixture of that uh, amongst our offensive staff. Um, like I say, Kyle, he's the old, he's the old man in there. You know, he's grandpa. You know, so we got the grandkids in there to Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I think that um, you know, obviously it's, it's labeled an air raid scheme, but I think that. Um, you know, Garrett said that they call it dirt grade sometimes. Dirt, yeah. So, how much as a running back coach do you appreciate that? And are you confident there's enough carries for Shipley and Moffin? So, uh, well, the good thing about I think Coach Christian, he can attest to this. The good thing about you know, being in this offense is that you know, Coach Riley, he's gonna he's gonna get the playmakers the ball. And I think you know, at the end of the day, that's what it's about. You know, I know it's you know, <coughs> him being his background, being a you know, coach like Leach and stuff like that, being able to air it. But I think. When it's all said and done, you have to win the football. I mean, when it's time to win championships and control the clock and do all that, you have to be able to run the football. And I think we have a great group of guys that can do that. And it starts up front. You know, you got a lot of a lot of experience that's coming back. Um, so that's exciting. And then obviously you have experience in the backfield and then um, you got experience in the, in the tight end room and now you got more experience at the receiver. So it's a collective. Uh, effort from everybody. Um, our job is to, <coughs> once those guys do their job up front, and we get to the second level, now it's our job as running backs to reward everybody else that's on that field. And that's kind of how we approach it. Um, but we're not worried about it. We're not going to run Trust me, I'm not losing any, any sleep about that. I think uh, I just got to do a good job of making sure that I keep those guys healthy throughout the whole season to be successful. For that. I think Ross can correct me if I'm not mistaken. I think the running back from TCU had a 1,500 yard freshman last year, I believe. So I think to me that should, that only excite you as a running back, then I don't know what else I need to do to excite you. Tyler, I know there's, there's a lot of parts to it, but just from a receiver perspective, where does the improvement have to come to get this passing game back to be with that explosive group that you guys have been in? <coughs> yeah, I think it starts. Um, in practice, you know, man, with with Cade and, and the rest of the crew, you know, and, and the cohesion in practice is huge. And I think the way that we practice, you're getting a ton more reps at doing some simple stuff, you know, like just throwing and catching more. Um, you know, putting guys in. We've done we've done a really good, um, you know, ball security circuit, for instance. I feel like we, we've kind of Talked as a staff, Garrett's brought some things. We've had some <coughs> when it comes to how you practice, and I really like what we've done um, in, in spring so far, and, and helping our guys get just a ton more reps, um, throwing a catch, you know, and, uh, and and getting confidence from consistently performing well 
and practice. You know, and it doesn't always have to be full speed. I think my wide outs, you know, you, you run all day, you know, but knowing how to take care of those guys, but still get repetitions on your slants, on your on your goes, on your you know, bank aids, on your out number. And we can slow it down, coach, and um, I think we've learned a lot from that. You know, I think we've already seen improvement, um, you know, throwing a catch him. I mean, we, you come watch a practice and it's, uh, I mean, there's, there's five quarterbacks, you know, there's a ball being thrown to every single receiver in every play when it comes to certain uh, team separate periods, which is great. Um, and so, you know, it comes from that. You know, I think just you know, having that cohesion, that chemistry, that confidence with one another um, on the field. And then, you know, putting them in the work, you know, you, you have your, your developing habits on your own, right? Like even after practice, we have a catch circuit we're doing that's, that's every, every single skill player, you know, that, that he brought from, from TCU. We've tweaked a little bit as well, you know, and kind of got it where we wanted, but, um, you know, everybody's doing that. And so you're getting tons of reps, but man, you're, you're developing habits, and, and as you develop those habits, it's going to develop that character, you know, on field and then off field character with, with those habits as well. So, um, you know, it's, it's on our guys, man, to, to put in the work, you know, and to, um, you know, to, when no one's watching, right, what are you doing? You know, that's, that's character, right? And I think our guys are. Or buying in man to that and just the work ethic and the commitment and the, the grind to be to be great. And, and, and uh, we got we got those guys in that room, man. We got those guys, we got some great leadership this year and um, like I said earlier, the guys are really hungry, you know. I think every position's hungry and excited, you know, with what we're doing right now. Going back to that competitive locker room you have with the running back, Strecko's a guy he's a preferred walk on. He's highly thought of, but kind of not really talked as much about. What have you seen from him in camp so far, and how do you think he can contribute to the running back room as a whole? Uh, he has kind of like that uh, that mindset that Shipley had. Like when he came here, like just really eager to learn. Um, he takes tons of notes in the meeting room. Um, uh, I mean, but at the same time, he's still a freshman. He's, he's still trying to just learn his way around. Um, but that's kind of similar to what I see like from that standpoint. It's like he kind of got like that, that will in him a little bit just from just really eager to learn the offense and try to master it as quickly as possible as he can so he can go out and play fast. And that's kind of what he at right now uh, in the stage going through spring. He's just really just trying to learn the terminology and, and really soak it all up and, so he can go out there and play free. And then when he's able to do that, his, his skill set is able to showcase. Um, but he, he's gonna he's gonna be a really good running back here of course for a long time. Um, he, right now he's just a, he's just a freshman trying to just find his way, figure his way around, and you know, figure it out. But that's what you have two older guys in there for to, to help bring bring those guys along. So he's he, he's gonna be good. I'm glad that we was able to to get him. Um, <coughs> Do you think Dominique and uh, Keith are, are pretty close in the pecking order, or is one separated from the other a little bit? Honestly, I really don't even do a depth chart, honestly. I mean, it'd be, I mean, I'd be foolish to sit here and say, hey, yeah, one is over the other. I mean, both of them guys doing a tremendous job right now, um, especially with a new system that we're in. Um, they both bring something totally different to our offense. Um, so I don't want to sit here and say, hey, one is over the other. I mean, they just Every day is a is a is a resume update day. I guess you would call it. And both of them guys doing a, a good job of that, and, and that's what you want in that room, in any room, honestly, is just competition. But it'd be hard for me to sit here and say, hey, those guys are one is above the other. They're both doing a tremendous job of taking advantage of the reps uh, that, they're, that they're giving. I think Tyler, you're talking about Bo Collins. You wish you you get up out there in some of those team reps? I mean, what have you seen just in individuals in terms of how he's progressing <coughs> as a player? Yeah, he's, he's doing well. He looks, he looks strong. I mean, he's been working on, it's funny, like he's trying to put, I mean, he needs to add fat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, like he's walking around and he was at my meeting and he had like a bag of like candy. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? That's not, you know, it's not like you. I mean, he's just got to see so trim that we're trying to add a little fat to him to help him out. And I don't even know why he asked the nutritionist. I guess it'll help, help him somehow. Okay. Um, but uh, 
he's uh, he looks great. You know, he's working he works on his body, with that shoulder, trying to you know work around it, get it stronger, of course, but you know um, work around it. But he's he looks great. He's he's moving well. He's making plays. He's able to kind of looks like he'd probably say you know not full range of motion maybe right now, but it's, it sure looks like it. And he's making great plays out there. Um, you know, great catch radius. And um, man, I'm just excited for him. You know, this is a big year for him, really big year. You know, and staying healthy is huge. Um, but man, he he, uh, he knows what he's trying to achieve, and uh, we need him to step up. You know, and, and, and be the player that he wants to be, and we know he can be. And uh, he's gonna he's gonna fight, man. He's gonna work for it. You know, he's a worker, worker grinder. You know, perfectionist. I mean, he wants to be he wants to be a lead. So um, he looks he's done well. Tyler, do you feel good enough about the personnel, particularly at the outside spots, where you feel like you don't need to possibly explore the portal addition later, or is that a possibility at some point later in the spring? No, I love who we got, man. We're going to have 21, uh, unless something happens, with like 20, um, 21 wideouts on our roster um, as it stands today. And uh, it's a lot, right? And so, you know, our guys know we've got guys coming in the summer <clears throat> that that would like to play, <laughs> that we're going to compete. You see Antonio and Adam Randall was competing to start as a, you know, in the spring before he got hurt. I mean, we're bringing in guys that, that want to play and that can, you know, and so um, it's going to be competitive, but man, it's, you know, um, I'll say this, we've got a great, a great room with a, a ton of respect for each other, and uh, 